Alrighty guys, I apologize for the shaky video, uh, but I don't have anything to hold my phone at the moment, um, so we're just going to have to do it this way. I've had multiple people ask me how to calculate the proper uh, grind angle uh, when grinding a bevel onto a blade using a jig, and this is pretty much how I do it. Um, once you do it a few times, you don't need to be as detailed. But what I've got here is, uh, if you look at the bottom corners, you'll notice that one of them is approximately a three-quarter saber grind, and the other is a full grind. Uh, on all my kitchen knives, I use full grinds, so uh, it's a little bit easier to be consistent as far as taking the bevel all the way up to the spine. Uh, the biggest difficulty, of course, is the knives tend to be longer and thinner, so the blade tends to uh, flex quite a bit when getting toward the tip, so really got to be careful not to thin out the edge or leave it too thick at the tip. <clears throat> so, uh, in this example, we are assuming that the blade width is an inch and a half, the spine thickness is 0.15 inches, and the desired edge thickness is 0.04. Let's maybe assume you're doing this prior to heat treat, so you want to leave plenty of room to actually be able to finish the blade once it's uh, hardened. Uh, so the first thing you do, or you can do, is draw out a triangle and kind of represent what the blade will look like. The dotted line down the center is obviously the center line where you want to apex the edge. As far as calculating what the edge angle should be, or the bevel angle, it, it's, it's simple trigonometry um, based on triangles. Uh, what you'll do is you'll take your spine thickness of 0.15, you'll subtract the 0.04 edge thickness and what that does get something to point here with is that essentially gives you the difference divided by 2 for each side okay now I'm you probably wouldn't do both of these types of grinds on the same knife because it would look really weird and would kinda cut funny <clears throat> but I'm just I split it up so you could see the difference so if you got 0.15 we subtract out the 0.04 which gives us 0.11 that gives us 0.055 inches per side of the blade uh, that needs to be factored in. Okay, so what we have to do is we have to look at the the short side of the triangle, and then we take the long side. And in this case, it's the full inch and a half. And what you would do is just download a triangle calculator that does right triangles, and put your for the short side put in the 0.055. For the long side, put one and a half. The one that I use doesn't go below a tenth of anything, so I would actually I use thousandths, so it would be 55 thousandths or just 55 units on the short side, and then 1500 units on the long side. Okay, and what that would do is it would give me this inside angle. Now, as far as what you're grinding off, the billet, of course, does like this and you're actually calculating the angle here between the bevel itself and where the billet or blank actually lies. But if you know your triangles, then that would be the same angle as in here, okay? Now on a saber grind, you're not gonna be using the full height of the blade, you'll use just the height that you actually want the bevel to be. So a three quarter grind, approximately on a one and a half inch wide blade, would be 1.125 inches or one and an eighth. So what we do instead, we'd still use our 0.055 on the short side and then 1.125 and again in my calculator it would be 55 units here, 1,125 units here. And I haven't done this one but a minute ago I put in 55 units here 1,125 units here, it gave me 2.8 degrees. So if you took this this knife, this blade, and if it was just you know fully rectangular and ground off 2.8 degrees, assuming that you're very consistent on those angles, if you put your scribe lines where they should be, you should be hitting right here and the actual height of the bevel should be right around uh, the 3 quarter mark or the 1.125 inches. So that's how you figure that out. Uh, the best way for just drawing the triangle out is just when you know your, your spine thickness and you know your desired edge thickness, 
just take your spine thick thickness, subtract out your edge thickness, and divide by two. Okay, and that'll give you the triangular measurement for each side. So you take your 0 0.055, whatever, however tall you want the bevel, then you put it in here, and that will give you the edge angle. So hopefully that makes sense. Because uh, I know it can be frustrating to not be able to uh, get the angle right and either grinding the edge too thin on one side or taking the bevel up too high. So 